hungry, don't grab some protein bar or a random munchie. Let not eating for a change change you and your body. Next time you feel hungry, remind yourself of what I'm about to tell you. Imagine your body as an ecosystem. And like in any human settlement, there is going to be waste generated. Now imagine if there was a factory, rather a waste management plant, which would take this trash, recycle it into its constituent raw materials, which can be used again to make these products again. A process very similar to this happens in your body when you are hungry or fasting, and it's called autophagy. Let's take example of our human body again. We know made up of cells. Cells each cell in its own is a cellular environment. Let's take example of Bob the cell. Bob has multiple cell organelles. These organelles are like the factories. Here in a cellular environment, the waste management plant is called lysosome. The collection of waste is done by something called autophagosome. It is like the worker ant who collects the debris from all around the cell environment and takes it to the recycling plant. The waste material can be broadly characterized in three groups. The defective damaged cell parts, the intracellular pathogens, and the misfolded proteins. These are the toxins, the pollutants of a cellular environment. They cause diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, the list is endless. So a little factory here breaks them down chiefly into amino acids and fatty acids. These are like these raw materials for most processes in a body. They can be used for, by the body for cell remodeling, tissue regeneration, cell remaking or simply as fuel. It is an established fact that our body is an impeccable series of events which align with each other perfectly. So much so that the transportation service is also taken care of. Can you guess what that is? Well, it's blood which takes this raw materials to many other factories in the body and the body uses it as required. In a single line, autophagy is the mechanism of our body which allows orderly degradation of unnecessary and dysfunctional cellular components and helps in the recycling of the same. This state is best achieved through 18 hours plus of fasting, intermittent fasting accompanied with high intensity interval training. Moreover, researchers like Thomas Seyfried, whose research chiefly concerns cancer prevention, have noted that doing once, once a year a 7-day water fast or multiple 4 days water fast can dissolve the precancerous cells in our body. That is, your body will eat the cancer on its own. So next time somebody asks you to grab a bite, say you are grabbing cancer.